about, I assume most people know what incels are at this point. It's about they? this community of, of men who feel that they, because of whatever unfortunate <laughs> genetic defects, simply are unable to find... Is she attacking the find... community again? <laughs> I mean... Oh <laughs> is the Warhammer community full of incels? Is that what's going I was going to say. <laughs> I feel Jeez. personally attacked. Shut the fuck up, Conjure. Th thou doth protest too much. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, no. I was joking. <laughs> but I'm not joking. I like Warhammer, so. Yeah, me too. I Adam just like friend. fucking, you're such a scene kid, Adam. Yeah, I was gonna say, Adam reads one Warhammer book. He's like, I'm yeah. all in the Warhammer. I've read two. <laughs> I've read two, I'll have you know. <laughs> I've read two Warhammer books, mm. and I found them very entertaining. <laughs> didn't you, didn't you, after on stream, after you read those books, and I was like, oh, had you played the game, and you said, there's a game? <laughs> no, that's bullshit. I knew there was a game. Don't, don't try to. I know about the game. Uh, okay. I know about the oh, game. Sorry, my toxic masculinity coming out. The so game sorry. with the little statues, with the tiny little dolls that they play statues. with. Statues. <laughs> the little dolls. Statues. Like your little, war... little boys playing with their little little war dolls. Yeah. <laughs> the little boys playing with their Warhammer dolls. I know what it's like. I know what it is. It's like chess, right? There's a board, there's squares on it. Oh, chess. Is that what yeah. it's like? It's exactly like chess. A strategy game. <laughs> And it becomes this kind of spiral of self-defeating doom, um, right? It's not only, oh, I'm unlovable. It's also, I'll never be happy. And then that pretty much quickly turns to, and it's feminism's fault, and it's the fault of, you know, so a person in pain always wants someone to... This feels uh, like I mean, a pretty tenuous connection. It literally is feminism's fault. I don't necessarily... Yeah. I mean, I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what the... I'm I'm a little lost on this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, how I mean, can you not trace it to feminism? I mean, it is. Fem are, am I? I mean, I'm I'm not joking. I think it really is. Yeah, I, so to, yeah, to some extent, sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I do think that the incels <clears throat> kind of think that it's essentially nature's fault as well, though. Yeah, like mm -hmm. women women desire Chad men, and but they're not Chad men. Therefore, nature is like cool. depriving them of something, right? right. Fem feminism destroyed the marriage market and then you know yeah. the, these dating apps came in with like the flamethrower and just fucking mm. <laughs> oh yeah hated everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i mean yeah i mean i don't know how they're not making a, a real argument against how it's not feminism's fault she just kind of laughs it off oh you know ha, 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 ha. like they have a legitimate grievance i think blame right so that starts and and you know at this point the incel movement has inspired so many mass murderers there's an what <laughs> oh my god oh, there are multiple I thought, trans was, mass murders was there just it? i thought there was just the one i thought it was just elliot rogers no there was alec manassian as well so there's a second two. one okay but yeah but there, there have been at least two transgender mass shooters so mm -hmm. I mean, it's looking like one, literally one for one at the moment. Well, how many, you know, Islamic no, those inspired are mass, shooters. mass shooters? I mean, are we allowed to say, well, Islam is inspiring all these mass shooters? I mean, oh, wow. it was only no, five minutes don't, ago. No, how dare you say that? <laughs> right. It was only five minutes ago that ContraPoints was like, well, the skeptic community was very anti-Islam. And, it, you know, there's a red flag. Right. And now she's like, well, the incel community is promoting all these mass killings. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. If you're disparaging men, though, that's okay. Are you kidding? Yeah. Disparaging a prized minority of course no that's off limits an entire timeline on wikipedia devoted to charting them uh so well hold on she's making it sound like there's more than two she's been to the wikipedia page are they making up mass shooters on wikipedia wouldn't surprise me here he is really, under, really. under under incels and in, on wikipedia there's a really? section called mass murders and violence okay here we go okay we have one guy from 2009, which I don't think should count because I don't think incels were a thing in 2009. 2000, oh, they're like, they're like padding, cherry picking right. from history. They're like, did you know Genghis Khan was an incel? <laughs> he couldn't get any pussy. <laughs> that poor Genghis Khan. <laughs> hey, it starts with Elliot Rogers in 2014. There's the person you said, Harper or Mercer. I'm not familiar with. but uh... Yeah, I'm not familiar with that either. Uh there's a we guy here, in... Sitch and Adam are members of the Chad community. We That's don't right. hang out on the <laughs> insult board. So there's a guy in 2016, Sheldon Bentley, who I've never heard about, who killed yeah. an unconscious man in an alleyway. 
What? I don't, what does it have to do with being incel? Incel what? mass shooter? What are we talking about? Apparently, they, the Wikipedia says he killed he the guy. He looked at him funny? Is that what happened? Or It says he killed the guy because he was frustrated with stress from his job as a security guard and with being an incel. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, we have another one who... Okay, well, this one makes sense. You have one who shot two people, and he was using the pseudonym Elliot Rogers, so I guess that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I mean, there, there are incel shooters. Right. And there are more than I knew as well. It's got to be I three mean, to be a mass shooter, though. You said only two, and the other guy oh, was just true. one person. What's going on here? I, I think we're splitting hairs there, though, aren't we? No, <laughs> like, that's the technical definition of mass shooting has to be three or more. But it, it, it doesn't matter. You know, everyone's got oh, okay. a mass shooter. The Bernie okay. Bros have a fucking gotcha. mass shooter, you know? So, like, who doesn't? There's some okay. guy who stood up in a court and was like, you know, free speech or die. And I'm just like, oh, fuck's sake. So you're <laughs> counting number of bullets shot. I mean, you're not actually, you're counting the quantity of ammunition. Uh, it's, it doesn't even matter. Like mass shooting, I think, is a, mm-hmm. a function of a certain kind of person. And I think that kind of person exists in every political movement. Mm-hmm. Sure, definitely. I'm just trying to imagine ContraPoint saying, well, you know, there's a problem with black culture producing mass shooters. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, oh, Ooh. okay. Yikes. Like Grizzly. It's extremely yeah, grizzly. And so I kind of became fascinated by this community because of the violence that it was producing. And so I made a video. I wanted it to serve two functions. One is that it's supposed to educate a general audience about this. I, I just feel like this is total bullshit. Mm-hmm. Well, this is 100 percent bullshit. <clears throat> I don't know. Incels if was seen... like a popular thing. It was like trending and all kinds of shit. Yes. Well, that's, well, that's yeah. the, the rub here. The reason... I became fascinated by it because Google Trends told me that <laughs> everybody else became fascinated by it. So I figured I would make right. a video. Well, that's the... I mean, that's why that's one of her most popular videos was because everyone was talking about it or all the media was talking about incels. And so when yeah. she made a video on it, like the algorithm picked it up. Yeah. You know, but... And also, I mean, her... Whenever she talks about this, it's such bullshit because she's like, I want to talk about incels, but I didn't want to just make fun of them. It's like, have you watched her own video? Like the first 10 minutes of this is basically Contra just mocking incels. Yeah. Like relentlessly. I haven't watched it. I haven't it's, it's watched like it. It's like such, yeah, it's such bullshit. She's doing all the things she's like pretending that she doesn't do and that she's accusing others of doing. Jesse Lee Peterson, the other Peterson did mm-hmm. an interview with an incel that I encourage people to look up because it's a fascinating interview. And, you know, Jesse Lee Peterson is just, he's a, he's not hiding behind a bunch of bullshit. Like, he just comes out and says it. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, that interview is fascinating. And the guy that he interviews is an incel. He lays out like all, like there's these, lo- there's location incels who are just incels because they live in a bad place. You know, like if they're not bad looking, if they lived in a better place, they would probably wouldn't be an incel. Like they break it down into all these, it's a fascinating subculture. I mean, obviously don't go shooting up your school or your fucking university or anything. I don't condone violence in any way, shape or form, but I mean, isn't this just like the age old, how to get, you know, doesn't everyone want to get a significant other or am I just, is that old and, is that is that stupid? That's now? old hat. Okay, is that I want to go on is Tinder and just bang <laughs> like, as many chicks as possible. Well, even if that's what you're looking to do, you're still looking. I mean, maybe you're looking to get a significant other for the night, <laughs> you know, for the weekend, or something like that. <laughs> I don't you're, think those terms uh, still <laughs> go together. Well, significant for that weekend does definitely <laughs> okay. go together. What are you talking about? Like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just saying that is an age old drive, and to to say. I, these I don't understand. Like they come at it from the point of view that, oh, these people feel so entitled. Like you're owed that or something. No, mm-hmm. shut the fuck up and just get on with your pathetic life. It's so incendiary. It's like what the fuck? No compassion, zero compassion from the people who all they do is stand around and talk about how oh god, conservatives need to have more empathy. What the fuck? They don't care about anyone. <laughs> it's like <laughs> wake up. Well, I mean, that that's the great irony about all this is that since empathy and sympathy only comes from looking at things through like class groups mm-hmm. or race groups, then it means that the, the, the most socially acceptable person to bully by society and by the all left types is the quote unquote incel, the undesirable male. 
And yeah. Like, oh, you're a white male. Okay. So you have all of society is rooted to, to push you up and you still couldn't succeed. What are you pathetic? Yeah. Well, they got a bad narrative because that's not the way it is. It's far more competitive being a male. If you, if, if gender studies actually taught anything about the sex differences about between reality. men and women, you would yes. fucking know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's men are this all is what's competing for women. Yeah, yeah, this is what is completely evil about the whole gender studies, grievance studies nonsense is because it gives people this completely crazy idea about the world that's not even remotely true. Like, they I'm sure they turn to these communities because they're like, okay, the world is nothing like they're teaching women the world is like, and we are, you know, the fallout from that. It's mm -hmm. terrible. Well, it, it's like they look at history and it's because you had certain classes of like very elite or rich people mm -hmm. who were like, the males would be like, well, I'm going to dictate who my daughter marries, you know, and all this stuff. And it's like, okay. They assume that that was like, everyone was engaged in this culture. It's like, no, that was just like the elite class engaged. Yeah, in totally. Okay. Great point. Great. Yeah. Point. All the other like normal, the normies, which was like the poor back then, <laughs> you know, they were all part of the same struggle you know, to, that we're going on today. All the men were still competing for all the women. Okay. Well, you could argue, though, that men were just as oppressed by that because it, of the course sons were. and the daughters were both being <laughs> married off against their will. Neither one of them got a choice out of the deal. So right, how but is the it... father dictates it. So, you know, therefore, at the end of the day, the man has the power. Yeah, I don't know about that. Would be that. Argument, You've but... seen these marriages, sure. I mean, he may be the one that's saying who's getting married, but you don't necessarily know behind the scenes who's really that's running true. the show. That's true. I mean, men, men, that's that's standard. I mean, a lot of guys get married and they're like, yeah, it's just they let their w wives do a lot of the thinking. Mm -hmm. The heavy lifting. <laughs> Which may be good. I don't know. Sure. Depends upon the situation. Uh, John Smith for 1776. Thank you, John. Says, give a two times free will, please. Well, there you go, John. You get, uh, what is that? 3,552 free units. Oh, my uh, God. Free will. Math there wizard go, here. John. I don't even know the difference between 12 hours and 24 <laughs> hours. Uh, pulling my weight. What this group of is, why are they like this, and what are they like? Is there anything we can do about it? Hey, hey Sargon, I know that you were bullied onto the show. And this isn't, it's not like Sarkon's <laughs> off smoking a cigarette right now. Good. I just want to make sure I caught him. There you go. And then the other is I'm aware that people who are, if not like obsessive members of these incel forums, people who are kind of at risk for mm. falling into this way of thinking, I want those people to watch and I want to try to make content. So I can humiliate them in my incel video yeah that's they're you're really gonna <laughs> you're really gonna win them over that way right i know i know i want it's those ridiculous. people to watch <laughs> it's totally ridiculous and in a way so that someone who's kind of not with me from the beginning mm -hmm. might actually listen to a, at least a little bit of what i have to say so i try to be very inviting in my videos no one likes to be lectured no one likes a sermon right so i try to that's the tone that i always try to avoid having i want to produce content in a way that uh, is a little more seductive than that you know it's not hectoring and doesn't make you feel like you're being judged uh, emotional manipulation is the word that you're looking for contra points just in case, mm -hmm. <laughs> in case yeah which is, which is all the alt left does it's all emotional yeah. manipulation yes it's that's the root of propaganda.